All right, all right. So the race winner gets five spots in the box break. Let's see what happens in a little race action. Lucky number seven on your mark, get set, go. Five spots on the line, winner take all. Joe, you're up front, man. Oh, wait a minute. Your blue jersey, Joe, is out front. Okay. Looking good, man. Hustling. That man is moving. <laughs> that man is trucking. Ho! Three, two, one. Valerie comes up in the last minute here, in the last few seconds, takes the victory home. Valerie... Way to go. That is a nice little chunk of the box break right there from the race victory. And so you got it. You see, I've got our list here. I'm going to be adding you into there for series one. And let's start the random and see who gets which teams in the break. Each list will go through seven times. We'll stack the list up side by side. We'll start with the owner name list. Lucky number seven. So our first random's all done. And now it's time for the big team random. Who's gonna get them reds? There's so many great teams to own in here. Well, let's see who gets which team. Good luck, good luck. Lucky number seven. There it is. All right. Cincinnati Reds owned by Valerie. Texas Rangers, New York Yankees. There's a lot of great teams to own. Yankees for Kyle V. Texas. In this thing for Al. Congratulations, man. So that is our list. I'm going to put this in alphabetical order by the team's name. One thing about this series one is every card has a super short print. So it's like there is no bad team. Every single card has its own super short print gold mirror variation. Any team, you can hit some big ones out of here with any team.
If you miss getting in this hobby box, we have a Jumbo Series 1. We have a, a two-box break with a couple of blasters and a hobby. And we even have instant pack ribs of Series 1 baseball. It's brand new stuff. It's a great break to get into. There are some monster hits that we are looking to pull. Seriously, I want to pull somebody a gem up out of here. Wow, right away, there's one hit in the box. Right away, we pull a hit in this thing. It's a Hunter Brown Astros relic. Congratulations, Jersey relic. Josh B. Nice Hunter Brown Jersey relic, 89 tops, throwback style. Boom. Like the first pack. There's our hit out of the box one hit comes out in hobby and there are some monster parallels in here we we're talking about some of the short prints there's one of the top rookies right there so there's still chances to hit some big ones out of here that is Ellie De La Cruz there's the Reds number one Ozzie Smith, 89 tops. Home run challenge card in a brave Spencer Strider foil. Look at that blueprints rookie of Ellie De La Cruz. Nice. Those blueprint inserts are cool. And I I didn't know that rookies in with that particular insert. Yeah, one of the biggest hits in the break can be mixed in with the base cards. We were talking about that earlier. There's Corbin Carroll. Soto in his new uni. And, you know, that thing's going for like $7,000 or something. It's a Soto in a Yankees uni. And then Otani in a Dodgers uni. If we come through and just see one of those, we're going to be doing really good. Baltimore is really good and looking to pull some kind of nice Colton Kowser. I want to see Evan Carter come out of here too, Al. It's just some kind of nice parallel. There's a Dominguez, one of the top rookies right there. Yankees, Dominguez, boom. Celebration of the kid. Nice Griffey Jr. We're looking at the Reds, man. They've got a bunch of these good rookies to get. That one site had that guy in the top 10. Nice 89 style rookie. Boom. Pirates. Nice parallel.
There's an Evan Carter. Come on, treasure. I'm ready to see a nice parallel. Let's see something. Let's see one of these big parallels. Or a super short print or something. Let's hit something nice. Good luck, everybody. Okay, what is this coming up? We got a foil reds. Series one silver pack action. Nice rookie card there for the A's owner. Congrats. Oakland A's. And yeah, that's our series one box. Congrats. Some of you had some really nice ones coming out through there. Wow. That wasn't one of the best boxes we've had of series one. But sometimes there are some really good boxes. So, yeah, it is what it is. We've got more of it coming up, and it's a great one to get into with some really big hits that pop out of there.